Well, hello, boys and girls. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. This is my probably final video. I did one already. You can go check it out about the video about the Shifley hit. And uh, I admit I'm an old school guy in a way. Uh, however, it's not that old school. This is like five to ten years ago. This hit would have been legal. Simple as that. It's true. Uh, Stewart for Sportsnet, he even said so himself. When he played, this was a legal hit, okay? So I'm gonna go over and explain why it was a legal hit and why we played like this in our time, I guess you would say. I don't know when it stopped and somebody will have to explain to me why. If you look at my video, I will show that Evans never looked up to see if anybody was coming in that spot. And it appears that People believe that it doesn't matter. And I totally disagree. It does matter. Or the game is changing in a way, in a big, big way that never happened before. Okay. I'm not going to go play the whole thing. You can go watch in the video again. And I, this is Shifley in the background. He just had, did a press conference. And good for him for doing a press conference after this. Um, his explanation was, He's trying to stop the goal. People are saying, well, your stick wasn't there. You weren't trying to do that. He was, he says in this uh, press conference that he was going, he didn't know if he was going to, that Evans was going to cut back or not. So he, he was slowing down to see which way he was going to go. Now, I don't know why this isn't brought up and it's not even brought up by Evans or nobody's even mentioning this. Why? does he think he's going to cut back? He thinks he's, he's coming with speed to make Evans look up and see that he could get hit in this spot. Okay? This is the reason why we have hitting in the game mostly. If you're playing as a player and you have a coach, they will tell you over and over again, you're hitting to make people think twice about going into that spot. If you're a, a shooter, the reason why it's so hard to score in hockey is because it's hard to get to those spots. Why is it hard to get to those spots? Because people beat you up in those spots. You want to know a guy that you want to, you're really frustrated with, say, for instance, maybe a lot of you are, especially if you're Buffalo Sabres fans, Jeff Skinner. Jeff Skinner, before he got his $9 million contract, was a 40, scored 40 goals for the Buffalo Sabres. And now people wonder why he's not scoring 40 goals. I'll tell you why. He got his $9 million contract, and he doesn't want to take the pain anymore. And that's the word. Hockey has always been about pain. Now... Shifley doesn't mention it here. I'm really surprised that nobody, because I think it's so ingrained in him, he doesn't even think he has to vocalize it. I, I think Shifley and a lot of players now, we just take it for granted that people understand that the reason why he's racing there is to prevent the goal. He should have already prevented the goal when he was maybe 15 feet away from that net, and that guy had not come out from behind the net yet for a wraparound. That guy is supposed to look up, see what's going on, and then make his decision from there. Does it make it less likely that he's going to score? Absolutely it makes it less likely he's going to score. That's how you prevent a goal, and that's it. He's saying he was trying to prevent a goal. In a mind of a person who plays in the way it was played 5, 10 years ago, we are we put questions in a player's head that they could get hit in a situation and put themselves in a vulnerable spot for that hit if they choose to do something. Evans did. And I, if you look at my previous video, I'll put it down in the uh, comment section here. Uh, it shows you completely that Evans never looked up the whole time. He made the play. He took the risk that there wasn't going to be any to be there if he saw Shifley for in his peripheral vision, I don't know, he was saying, okay, I'm going to take the hit to score the goal. But there's going to be a hit there. I'm sorry. 
there's going to be a hit there. Now, I looked at the hit over and over and over again. The leak says there was some head stuff. I don't know. I saw a guy who probably, if you were, if you were doing a, uh, a textbook, I'm talking about the impact here, a textbook hit on someone, that was almost as textbook as you could get. His shoulder was down. He hit him mostly in the chest. Now, when he hits him, does it hit the head? Yes. Do you know why? Because the guy is a noodle. He is not prepared at all for a hit. He is all relaxed. He's going around going, I am got it. I'm It's over. I just ended the game with no thought of anybody coming back to make a play on him at all. And that is the issue here as it stands. Now, what does, now we got to look out, okay, what does Shifley in the new NHL do here? He takes, he, I, I was doing my show yesterday. I do a show from 3 to 5 Eastern, 5 days a week on this channel. You can check it out. I said, okay, you know what? The word is excessive here. He leaned into the hit. He seemed to lean into the hit. In this NHL, it's very possible you can make you can say, okay, you know what? Don't lean into that hit. Don't lean into that hit. But to say to expect the guy to not know that the guy is it sees him coming or has done his due diligence. And that's the word I'm looking for, due diligence. Look it up. You, you, there's a responsibility for the player. Nobody is talking about this. All they're saying is he came from a long way, which he has to. In fact, even Ray, Ferrar, uh, Ray, um, Ray Ferraro, who played in the game and was not a... He said, well, what else is he supposed to do? Even though he said he should get suspended, he said, what else is he supposed to do? He's coming back into the play. He's going to be coming from a long way, right? He, Shifley's trying to close the gap on that guy making the decision to do that wraparound. That's what he's trying to do. Unfortunately, Evans never looked up and decided to make the play. And he hit him. And he hit him really, really hard. And Evans was really, really unprepared for the hit. And he gets hurt. So if we want people to not get hurt, we have to decide what to do here. Are we going to say that a player doesn't have any responsibility at all? That's, if you could comment in the comment section, comment section. Do you believe that Evans has any responsibility at all to think that a guy's going to be racing back to that net to try to stop him? Do you think... That Shifley should not, because he's come that far, should we just take the hit out of the option completely? Because the, that changes the game completely. Because the reason why we hit there and hit is to have people realize to keep their head up and second guess so they don't make an easy play to the net. That's why we hit in almost every circumstance. When you go into a corner and a defenseman goes into a corner and you're racing, you hit them, and you hit them to hurt them, by the way. So the next time they're like, oh, shoot, he's going to hit me for sure. I'm going to move out of the way or take the hit. It makes it less likely that they're, you're, it makes it more likely the next time you're going to be able to get the puck. In Shifley's case, and the overall case, to hit somebody in that situation makes it less likely that he's like, Five, ten years ago, what would happen here after Evans got up? Everybody would be concerned about Evans. But the players in the room would be saying, My Evans, I mean, you got to look up to see who's coming, dude. you got to look up to see who's coming. It's terrible that that happened. And he gets a charging call. I'm just trying to think. Like, you lay off a little bit. You lay off a little bit in that situation. Or take him lower. That's the other thing. Somebody else brought something up in my show that the possibility that you could do is dive. But then he's putting himself in peril. He's going to go right into that post. Dive into the net or something of that nature to try to get the puck off his stick. Um, I don't know. I think Shifley was surprised as, as any, was just maybe not as anyone, but was very surprised that he decided to make that play. 
he got there and says, I got to take this hit because even if he scores, you're putting it in the player's head that next time you better you look up and make a play. Is it going to be more difficult for him to score? Yes, that's why we hit to make it difficult for people to score. So, like I said, I'm an old school guy. I'm trying to adapt to the to the story or the, the philosophy now of the NHL. I'm trying to adapt to what a person would do here. Stewart, I don't know if you mentioned on Sportsnet, I don't know if I mentioned Stewart on Sportsnet said when he played, which was only like seven to ten years ago, that was a there was no problem with that hit at all. Seven to ten years ago there was no problem with that hit at all as far as Stewart is concerned. And he's right. There wasn't. There wasn't a problem with that hit at all. Now we have to come up with some new philosophy as to what a player does in that situation. We need to change the, the story or the narrative of hockey. We want to protect players. I want to protect players for sure. Part of protecting players is making sure players are aware of what's going on in the ice in these situations. Uh, I, I just can't see. The league has basically given him a four game suspension to me, has said, Evans had no responsibility there. Evans can go in behind the net, come out without looking or paying attention who's out there, and you got to really, if you hit him, you got to hit him softly. You can't hit him hard. You got to hit him soft, and that's it. So do you guys think that's the way it should be? Let me know. Let me know. I could be wrong, and if you watch my show, if I'm wrong, or if I come out later to think, you know what, I was incorrect about that, I wasn't right about that, I had it incorrect, I will come out and say so, no problems. Because my thing is just making the great gate, the great game great, I apologize, and uh, allowing for the game to be as best as it can be. Thanks everybody. I hope I, you know, for those I've offended in my past video, all of those sort of things like that, I'm just seeing it, calling it as I see it, and how I see it is not all right, always right. Okay, bye.